The Morris Costumes 2022 8-foot towering skeleton with projection eye has been revealed. Is it what we expected? Eh, not really. For everything scary, um, GM haunts, and this is the second day in a row that we've gotten a Morris Costumes 2022 animatronic revealed to us, and this time it looks like this is the last animatronic of the season. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the 8-foot towering skeleton with projection eye has been released onto the Morris Costumes YouTube channel, which means we've gotten our first, first look at this animatronic in a brand new official demo video. Now, this animatronic was first revealed to us about a couple of days ago when the listing first leaked out from the Morris Costumes website. We had no idea what he looked like, we only had his official name, which of course is the 8-foot talent skeleton with projection eye. There was a lot of kind of theories of to, as to what project, projection eye actually meant. Now that the demo video came out, we get to see what it actually means, and it's not really what we expected. And that kind of goes along with the whole animatronic, is that he is not really what we expected. But without further ado, let's take a look at the brand new Morris Costumes 2022 official demo video for the 8-foot towering skeleton. Welcome to my stylish haunted home. I can't take all the credit for its trendy appeal. The maniacal banshee in the closet deserves some praise. <laughs> Alright, so before we even get into this review, I am just going to state the obvious. Obviously, this guy looks very, very, very similar to the Best Buy 8-foot talking skeleton that we saw last year for 2021. Almost a little bit too similar. He just stands still, just like the Best Buy one did. He has a very similar body, but at the same time, it's just a skeleton. So a skeleton is a generic kind of design anyway. But just the way he looks, he's the same height, the way the mouth movement is, very, very similar. Also, the manufacturer is Seasonal Visions International SVI. SVI manufactured the brand new Morris Costumes one. They also manufactured the Best Buy one last year. So that's kind of where some of these similarities are coming from. The really only main difference between them is the eyes, which I'll get to in a second. This animatronic also very much reminds me of Grimm, who was sold by Spirit for the 2021 season. Grimm was only six feet tall, and he also used servo mechanism. Um, this guy does not, but I don't know. They kind of look similar because they're both uh, just life-size Hawking skeletons. But without further ado, let's get into the actual discussion of this brand new animatronic. So first of all, the audio on this guy is not brand new audio. We also got to see this on the UK exclusive Lanky Skeleton. Um, same audio. The audio is alright. I actually think it fits his skeleton pretty well. So I don't really have a problem with it being reused for the 8-foot channel skeleton that we're seeing from Morris. It fits pretty well. I actually like it a lot. The things that he says are kind of... They're a little bit cheesy, they aren't necessarily scary, they're more for like a party, a Halloween party vibe, but nonetheless they kind of work with like a quirky skeleton that we're, we're seeing here, so they're not, the, they're not the worst audio I've ever seen, I actually kind of like how it works um, with a skeleton. The other main thing about this guy is his projection eyes. So when the listing originally first leaked, everyone wanted to know what does projection eye mean? Is it some kind of new technology? Is it some kind of redone version of LCD panel eyes? Nobody really knew. Now that we have the demo video, we get to take a look at it. It's basically just LCD eyes. From the video and from the description, it looks like projection eyes is basically just LCD eyes. They look a little bit different than the normal SVI digital eyes that we've been seeing for the past couple of years that like the weird eyes that look around like these very same pupil design where it's like the same screen we're seeing a different eye like a uh, virtual eye here it's more blue it's kind of like um an all blue color instead of eyes that actually look more realistic this is basically just a blue orb that moves around i actually do enjoy the way it looks but at the same time, I'm a little bit disappointed because I expected that Projection Eye was going to be something new, a new form of technology, and not just LCD Eye or Digital Eye, whatever you want to call it, with a different name. I kind of did not expect to see another Digital Eye animatronic, but that's what we get. It's interesting to see that we're getting a new SVI Digital Eye design instead of the one that we've been seeing on a bunch of other LCD props. But I am disappointed that we didn't get a new form of technology because that's really what I was expecting when I saw Projection Eye um, featured in the title. I mean, the rest of this guy, I don't really have a ton to say about him. He basically is just built the same as all the other skeletons that I just mentioned in the beginning that SVI also manufactured. Uh, he's probably going to build, be built the exact same way, so nothing really about that. He looks alright. I feel like the the 
uh, the paint job of it might be a little bit different than other animatronics. This guy seems to be a little bit more bronze, a little bit more brown in certain spots and around the bones than on the other skeleton animatronics that I mentioned. This guy just seems to be more like a brownish color than a white or a light gray. Um, this one, this guy kind of seems to be like some decayed color, but very, very similar to the other skeletons. I'm not gonna lie, when I saw the title and the leaked listing for this guy, I really thought that what Towering Skeleton meant was that we were gonna get a brand new kind of skeleton, like the Grim Reaper, but in a, like a, in a black outfit, maybe with some swan stuff dangling off of him, maybe with like, like I just mentioned, like a, a cloak. Instead, we're just getting basically a, a, almost something exactly the same as the Best Buy 8-foot skeleton. Really was not expecting that. I was just, I was so hoping to get a brand new skeleton prop that had a black cloak on, maybe like a lantern in his hand, something that really resembled like the Grim Reaper maybe, but it was called the Towering Skeleton. Instead, we just get something that looks like almost identical to the other skeletons that we've been seeing the past two years, and it's just, I'm kind of disappointed with it, honestly. It's a fine animatronic, there's not really anything bad about it, it like, by design and by look, and it's like, it's just alright. But at the same time, we, it, it just compares to the other stuff that we've already seen. It's basically the same thing as the Best Buy 8-foot talking skeleton and all that other stuff that I mentioned in the beginning. Graham, the 12-foot skeleton from Home Depot. Everyone is jumping on the bandwagon, the bandwagon of let's do a bunch of talking skeletons that are big in size because that makes them impressive. This one's 8 feet tall. But it really doesn't because we're just getting so many talking skeletons at this point. Yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed in this. I really was expecting to get something a little bit more unique than just basically a new version of the 8-foot um, Best Buy Skeleton or Grimm or the 12-foot Skeleton from Home Depot. Instead, we didn't get that. We just got a, a, a brand new 8-foot Skeleton where the only movement is mouth movement. I would have also been interested to see a side-to-side uh, -side or servo technology like Grimm. Even if we just got to see this, but with servo technology, very similar to the way Grimm moved, I feel like I would have enjoyed it a little bit more just because he's bigger than Grimm is. He's 8 feet tall, Grimm is 6 foot. But no, we get an 8-foot skeleton that literally only has mouth movement. Exactly the same how the Best Buy skeleton worked. I'm just... Yeah, I know a lot of other people are also disappointed. I'm definitely not the only one. I read some stuff that people were saying about it. I saw some stuff. Other people are disappointed. I am myself. I'm saying it right here. I feel like there could have been so much more done with this. And instead we get something that's basically a very, very similar design to the other stuff that we've been seeing. SVI manufacturing it maybe wasn't a great idea because SVI also manufactured all of the other talking skeletons. If we had a different manufacturer such as Techie on this, we would have something that looks different because it's not the same manufacturer using the same parts, but they went in that direction. They went in the SVI direction this year to get everything manufactured by Seasonal Visions, and it turned out decent. Some of the stuff was good, some of it wasn't. Some of it was just disappointing like this was. I'm not saying this is a bad animatronic, it's just disappointing because I wanted to see something new. I wanted to get a fresh look at a skeleton with a black cloak, with a lantern, with a staff, anything to make it look a little bit different. But instead, no, they went in the same direction that every other company had been going in. So yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed. The projection eyes are kind of cool. It's different than everything else was. So at least we got something new on it. But literally, it's just such a small design feature of the brand new uh, LCD eye design. But other than that, I'm pretty disappointed in the towering skeleton. The 8-foot towering skeleton from Morris Costumes and SBI this year. So much more could have been done. This is definitely a lost opportunity. A la I, I don't know. Just like... So much could have done, been done with this. It definitely was a lost opportunity, in my opinion. I would have done a lot more with the design of him, and I feel like you could have sold a lot better if he was a little bit more unique. You can go to Best Buy and get this. You can go to Home Depot and get a 12-foot version, or you can go to Spirit and get a 6-foot one. Uh, Grim, who I actually have right here, who is 10 times better than this thing is, because this is just the, like, a millionth version that we've seen of this design. But nonetheless, I wanted to talk about it, and it because... It also looks like this is the last animatronic of the Morris Costume 2022 season, which is pretty interesting, and we're kind of ending it on a bad note, unfortunately. Um, but nonetheless, that's the 8-foot towering skeleton from Morris Costumes. Ladies and gentlemen, I was going to wrap up my video taking a look at and reacting to the brand new 8-foot towering skeleton with projection eye um, from Morris Costumes slash SVI as the manufacturer for the 2022 season. Like I mentioned multiple times, I'm kind of disappointed in this guy just because so much more could have been done with him. The design could have been way more unique. SVI as a manufacturer was a good choice other than the fact that they went in this direction. SVI could have done some much cooler things with it, but instead they used the same parts as every other skeleton that we've seen for the past couple of years, which just makes it a little bit disappointing. And I was expecting a lot more when I originally saw the name for this guy, um, and I'm a little bit disappointed seeing his official demo video. Ladies and gentlemen, remember as always... 
for everything scary. I'm G. I'm Hans. I'll see you guys later for more Morris costumes and Transworld 2022 videos. Goodbye.